We were speaking about uh, sharing something very special with you. Every day, the two of us, Chakra as well as myself, we speak about Sri Lanka and us recovering from post-war period. Now, today we're speaking about a certain devastation that hit us in the year of 2004 and how we recovered from it and, of course, the assistance that we were granted by various parties, especially in... Uh, making sure that people were granted the relief that they needed. Now, speaking of uh, this form of relief, the guest we have with us is someone very special, and I will let her speak and uh, let you know exactly what kind of relief that they granted for everyone here in Sri Lanka. So I introduce to you uh, Dr. Sean Hughes, and she's right next to me, all the way from Australia. Uh, welcome on board. It's lovely to have, you, uh, to have you here this morning. Thank you very much. Okay, so now we were speaking about um, the tsunami period and um, how we recovered from that. So what exactly is the involvement uh, that you're all actually you know, coming down to Sri Lanka and then understanding the situation? How did all this start off? Well, we came to Sri Lanka originally. My whole family came in all 2004 right. for a holiday. Okay, when was um, this? This was in, in Christmas 2004. Okay. We came because our family loves cricket. Oh, I see. And my son wanted to play cricket all the time. And when I go on holiday, I like to read a book. <laughs> so I always had to play cricket. But my friends told me, our goddaughter in Australia is Sri Lankan, and they said, if you go to Sri Lanka and you take a cricket bat and a, b a ball to the beach, loads of people come and play with you. Definitely. Yes. yes. So we had three beautiful days on the beach at Anuatuna mm -hmm. with lots of people playing cricket with my son and my husband All right. and myself and my daughters enjoying ourselves separately, not playing cricket. Definitely. But it only lasted for three days because on Boxing Day, of course, the tsunami arrived and devastated the whole of that coastline. And we were very lucky. We hadn't actually gone to the beach for breakfast that morning. We were still in our hotel room. We were in a two-story building. We all managed to climb on the roof together, and, and we survived with no personal injury. We lost everything, but we had no personal injuries. So you actually experienced the so tsunami we exper up close. We experienced the tsunami, and okay. it was the most horrific day. Even I thinking about it now, I feel shaky inside, because the family next to us that we'd made friends with, a couple from the Netherlands, Netherlands, they lost their beautiful little baby boy. The mother was holding the baby and a, a wall fell on top of her and she let oh. him go. And we found the body a few hours later. But as the wave was receding, people were screaming for doctors. And I'm a pediatrician. That's I right. specialize in looking after children. So I immediately left my children and went off and worked nonstop for four days. I don't think I had any sleep. There were so many people who were traumatized and injured there were so many dead bodies it was something I can never forget and I still have nightmares about but I must say that the people in Sri Lanka were so beautiful they brought us bread they brought us bananas they said we're sorry that this happened to you in our country they were apologizing to us um, and when we left, we, first of all, we, we didn't come straight back to Australia. We went up to Kitugala, which I still think of as heaven, because mm -hmm. we escaped the whole of the devastation. Oh, yes. And we arrived in a hotel where we could have food, where all our dirty clothes could be washed. It was beautiful. Um, and so when we got back finally to Australia, and we hadn't really lost anything, because we still had our house, we still had our family. Our insurance paid for everything That's that we right. did lose. And we felt so sad. Our hearts were still in Sri Lanka and we wanted to do something to help the people of Sri Lanka and we met Melbourne has got the biggest expat community outside of Sri Lanka in the diaspora All and right. there are so many um, people from Sri Lanka who live in Melbourne and so many doctors as well mm -hmm. that we got together and we made a team called the Australian Sri Lankan medical aid team all right so that's how things uh, so actually that's, that's how it all started you initiated it by yourself is it after Just seeing the entire devastation seeing the devastation and wanting to do something to help the people of Sri Lanka and my friends who were in in um, Australia, they actually came over after the tsunami and they worked as well in the hospitals. Mr. David Yen, who's an orthopedic surgeon, Dr. Quintus de Silva, who's a cardiologist, uh, Sanuja Ranatunga, who's a general practitioner, she spent weeks in the camps giving counseling. So that was the start of it all. And we've been, initially we were involved in Karapetia Hospital and down okay. at Hambantota Ramatra. So what you're saying is uh, you kind of first got in your resources and then did you uh, contact the government here or did you just come in uh, by yourself as a private organization altogether? It, 
It's, a, it's been a bit of both. Because right, we have okay. so many Sri Lankans in Melbourne, they all have contacts over here. Everybody knows somebody over here. Exactly. You know? yes. And Dr. Quintus de Silva had a meeting with President Ranjapaksa yesterday. So there's all these connections that occur. And we really go on trust. So we, we, what we do is we organize a container of medical equipment. So we get um, all the equipment that the hospitals in Australia are throwing out. We had 12 beautiful anesthetic machines that were not going to be used. So we collected them all, we put them in a container, we sent the container over here. Right. And then with assistance from the government, we had the container cleared and we distributed it to the public hospitals. Right, okay. And we come over every six months and we make sure that the equipment we've sent is still being used in the, in the public hospitals for the poor people of Sri Lanka. That's a very good way of managing things, mm. uh, checking back and seeing whether the things, that the resources that you're actually providing yes. are being utilized in the correct way. Now, since you were speaking about the involvement of the government to a certain level. Uh, now, you've been coming into Sri Lanka, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing, right after the tsunami. So it's 2010 right now. We yes. are at the end of 2010. Yes. So how has the progress been like? Uh, now, gradually, you would be saying, like, okay, 2005, you would see something else, and then 2006, it would be entirely different. I have, I have so what's been the response? So, I have been in so impressed by the progress that Sri Lanka has made. It's fantastic. And I think the feeling that I get now on this visit is one of much greater optimism, optimism and hope for the future. I really feel that Sri Lanka is about to take off. Um, but, of course, there are still lots of areas of need. Um, so, certainly down at Hambantojan and Karapitya, the hospitals are much, much better. There's a lot more services available. I'm it's extremely really actually happy to hear that. Well, we were speaking yeah. about um, a very important thing that happened here in Sri Lanka and, of course, uh, what kind of assistance we've been granted and about uh, the Australian involvement here. So, we have a very special guest who has joined us now. It's uh, Dr. Tanja Kadugampala. So, it's lovely to have you, ma'am. Really nice that you're also here because, uh, especially the viewers who want to get fir like first-hand details as to the involvement uh, that uh, your association has here, uh, especially in Singhala, would be greatly benefited. So we'll speak with you about. Uh, we were speaking with Dr. Hughes actually about her experience here in Sri Lanka, especially how she faced uh, the tsunami and uh, um, actually what kind of uh, relief has been granted. Uh, but if we can. Uh, explain this. If we can uh, explain it further, I think it will be much benefited, rather beneficial rather. So, um, if you can tell everyone right now. Okay. Um, you want me to speak to me? I have a lot of people who are in the hospital. I have a lot of people who are in the hospital. I have a lot of people who are Api um tsunami villa we met an attack doctors like a root it took a cow root kissing with the Mugaka Kinika then again he see what now the Harnak Dr. Shan may Nimado get a Karnakil up then again he see now Namut Mama we up your Australia we don't have a quality in which out of flight take a long car with a dad are again a mehin Australian again and up a contest chart of flight take a Masa Ghana get a posse up you come up a who Australia with a giham Ekineka Katavela, Ekatuila, Hambuna, may may love of what they came, Ekineka Tribedagan. Etakota, Vedidinic, Hambune, Doctors La Hetheatre, a Pekama refugee council, a cake of Vilaval, Vedakala, Tibuna Gale, Matara, Hambalango de Mulu area came, Ekatuila, a Bedahadaga, the Adeki, Mudatama, a Pihamom, Ekamatiko, Tiranekara, a Pia, love of what they came, Tapi, Lanka, Vatulikar put this. ඒ මාමතක කරලා අපහු අපිට එහේ අපේ ජීවිතේ සාමාන්‍ය විදිහට ගෙන යන්න බෑ. ඒ නිසා අපි හැමෝම අපහු ඉදිරියටත් පුළුවන් උපරිම මට්ටමෙන් අපේ රටට කෙරේ යුතු යමක් කළ යුතුයි කියලා. ඒ තීරණය උඩ තමයි අපි පුංචි ඕගනයිසේෂන් එකක් හැටියට එකතු වුණේ නමක් දාලා ඊට පස්සේ අපිට සම්බන්ධ ශ්‍රී ලංකන් නොන් ශ්‍රී ලංකන් හැමෝම අපිට උදව් කරලා අපි දැන් විශාල සමාජික සංඛ්‍යාවක් ඉන්න සාමාන්‍ය සමාජ සේවා සංගමයක් හැටියටයි එහෙ ලියපදිංචි වෙලා තියෙන්නේ. එතකොට අපි ලංකාවට උදව් කරන්නේ සම්පූර්ණයෙන්ම මේ වොලන්ටරි ඩොක්ටර්ස් ලා හැටියට අපි මෙහෙ NGO එකක් හැටියට ලිස්ට් වෙනවත් එහෙම මේ Deapadinchwena, Pia, the Hasaki Bunem, Okade, him and Apihamoma, Ehe, Urthia, Doctor Sla, 
අපේ වුමනාවෙන් අපේ නිවාඩු කාලේ කැමැත්තෙන් කරන දෙයක් හැදිට තමයි මේ වෛද්‍ය අසිස්ටන්ස් දෙන්නේ ඔව් දැන් මුදල් පැත්තෙන් කතා කරොත් මොන විදිහද ඕස්ට්‍රේලියාවේ ඉන්න ශ්‍රී ලාංකිකයන්ගෙන් ලබා ගන්න මුදල්ද නැත්තම් ලංකාවේ මොකක් හරි විදිහක් තියනවද මුදල් ලබා ගන්න නැත්තම් ඖෂධ කෙනෙක් බෙහෙත් ඒ වගේ දේවල් කොහොමද ලබා ගන්නේ වෛද්‍යවරු සහ මේකට අදාළ හැම කෙනෙක් මෙන්නේ තමන්ගේ වියදමෙන් තමන්ගේ නිවාඩුයි තමන් මෙහෙ මෙහෙ මේ රටේ නිවාඩුවක් ගත කරන්න තමන් වියදම් කරන්න එනව වගේ මේ ලබාගෙන අපේ වියදමෙන් නමුත් අපේ ක්ලිනික්ස් වල අපි විශාල ප්‍රමාණයේ ඖෂධ තොගයක් සාමාන්‍ය එක වරකට රුපියල් මිලියනයක් දෙකකට අදාළ ඖෂධ විතරක් ක්ලිනික්ස් වලින් විතරක් බෙදා හරිනවා අවශ්‍යතාවය උඩ මිනිස්සුන්ගේ අපි වැඩ කරන ප්‍රදේශයේ තියෙන මිනිසුන්ගේ ආර්ථික තත්වයත් උඩ ඒවට අපි එහේ ඕස්ට්‍රේලියාවේ කිසියම් කලින් කලට ලෑස්ති කරන මේ ෆන් රේසින් ඉවෙන්ට්ස් වලදී අපේ ශ්‍රී ලාංකික සහ ශ්‍රී ලාංකික නොවන අපේ කරන වැඩට සහයෝගය දෙන අය දෙන මුදල් වලි නොයි ෆන් රේසින් ඉවෙන්ට්ස් වලින් ලැබෙන දේවල් වලි නොයි උදාහරණයක් ඩොක්ටර් ෂාන් ඒ රටේ හුඟාක් පිළිගත් පීඩියට්‍රිෂන් කෙනෙක් ගොඩක් ආණ්ඩුව සහ පෞද්ගලික ආයතන වල සෑහෙන ප්‍රසිද්ධියක් ලබන ඒ වගේ අය ගිහිල්ලා මේ ඕගොල්ලන් මේ මේ රූපවාහිනිය කළා වගේ පොඩි අපි ගැන හැඳින්වේ මක්කල්ල මේ කරන වැඩ ගැන යමක් කියලා දුන්නහම හුඟක් අය බොහොම කැමැත්තෙන් මේකට සහයෝගිත්වය දෙනවා ඒ මුදල් හරි විදිහට ඒ බෙහෙත් වල අත්‍යාවශ්‍ය දේවල් වලට ලබා දීලා ඒ ගැන ඒගොල්ලන්ට අපහු දැනුවත් කිරීම අපේ යුතුකම හැටියට අපි හිතනවා මොකද අපි ස්වේච්ඡාවෙන් කළා වගේම ඒ අය කැමැත්තෙන් දෙන මුදල හරි තැනට යනවා කියන එක වග කිව යුතු අය හැටියට අපේ යුතුකමනේ එහෙම ලැබෙන මුදල් සහ ලංකාව ඇතුලෙත් හුඟ කලාවට අපි මෙහෙම දෙයක් කරනවා කියලා දැනගත්තාම කොයි විදියෙන් හෝ උදව් කරන්න එකතු වෙන අය ඉන්නවා Right, so like we were speaking about uh, the involvement this organization has here. Now we were speaking uh, before about uh, whether um, what kind of uh, work you've been doing and uh, she explained exactly how they get their resources and how the, the sacrifices being made by each party uh, sacrificing their own holidays, uh, shipping in uh, with their own money in a very voluntary manner. So uh, what we have to do is right now, uh, if anyone can uh, also make their own contributions, I believe this is the moment that we give contact details and uh, uh, make that request. Dr. Hughes or Dr. Carter Gampala? <laughs> We've never done this before, so we are a little bit surprised and uh, reluctant actually because we always wanted to do, give something to our country. Uh, we all, I call them honorary Sri Lankans of course, <laughs> but we all share one passion to help our motherland. Our motherland had gone through enough of troubles and whatever support we can give to our mother country will be um, our reward. For, for being Sri Lankans and um, yes if a lot of Sri Lankans can support not in monetary or uh, materialistic terms but also to join us with our team we yes, do a definitely. lot of help we've been trying to spread our wings to all parts of Sri Lanka That's right. uh, trying to see wherever the need is this time for the first time we are going up north and east and um, just support us support the country and just we have to join in in uh, the progression of our country for the next few years and that'll be great if yes, you all can join yes definitely uh, what you should be doing it's the end of a year so with uh, that request for everyone at home we wish you a lovely year ahead thank you so much for joining us today uh, thank do you. take care thank wish everyone a very happy uh, new year that's coming up tomorrow so with all those wishes do take care and keep safe